Right there you see Miss Ruka eating a fish. You got Mr. Kurgan and the honey badger here. There's Kratos. Got the puppies uh, together with uh, their dad eating a little food. The plastic jugs you see there are Lobo's favorite toys. They're, they're not trash. That's Kratos telling the badge to uh, leave his food alone. Again, I use these, these uh, pack feedings to help develop and maintain a healthy pack hierarchy. It teaches the dogs good coping skills and uh, allows them to uh, interact with uh, other dogs on our off-leash hikes in a healthy, constructive manner without having their fight or flight uh, reflex stimuli. Now again, if you uh, disagree with that or don't believe it, I have all kinds of videos that will show that to you if you uh, want to see it. Right here we got Mr. Kratos eating. I like to pet and handle my dogs when they're... Uh... See, now you just saw I was handling him. He was fine, but he made sure that he's telling Honey Badger not to come by his food. Now again, that's not... That's not uh, aggression you're seeing there. That's canine communication. They're not fighting. He's just interacting with her. What may look fierce to us is just how dogs talk. Again, I like to have the dogs in a group like this and have them all feeding together. Again, because again, it, it helps bond them and it helps them establish their own pack hierarchy. <laughs> You can see uh, Kratos is, thinks he's going to be alpha in the future. We'll see how that works. Beautiful. Just turned five months old. Hey, buddy. He's coming over to tell me thanks for his food. Oh, boy. It's really a, a sweet dog. Right here, you got the badge. And uh, Miss Ruka, good girl. And again, I like to handle them all when they're feeding. It teaches them not to be food aggressive. Miss Ruka also, good girl. Kurgan says, "Well, as long as everybody's getting pets." <laughs> Just a moment, Kurgan just relieved himself, so I'm gonna clean that up real quick. Well, now that that's taken care of, boy. Got uh, Lobo and uh, K-Bar right here. You can see K-Bar is getting quite big. I had them over here eating food. Again, uh, sometimes I uh, do smaller group feedings like this with the pups and their dad, and uh, sometimes I do them with the whole pack. Right now, uh, Ulu's in heat, so uh, if you're asking where is Ulu, she's in heat, so she's inside eating alone, and it's kind of a cold day, so that's where Magi is too. Oh, for those who wonder uh, what's left of that deer that my dogs ate a couple of weeks back, that's all that's left of it. Uh, they ate the whole skull except for that portion of jawbone there, and a couple of uh, ribs. People wondered if they were going to eat the head. Yes, they ate the head, skull and all, and all the contents therein. Now again, the plastic jugs there are Lobo's favorite toys. He keeps a collection over there. Mr. Kurgan already ate some food, so. That's why he's uh, just chilling. Isn't that right, buddy? Boy. <laughs> Lobo's in there now, uh, destroying another one of his many jugs on the back side of K Bar there. You make a better uh, door than window there, K Bar. That's the uh, crunching ear. They have all these expensive toys, and they all want to chew up plastic jugs and bottles. I don't understand it, go figure. <laughs> now again my dogs all live in the house they, they were just eating in there those two together so you know for anybody who's gonna say oh god those dogs are are they outside all the time no no they're not they're they're spoiled rotten they live in the house uh, again when it comes to eating raw food like this 
we feed it to them outside, the ones that uh, have the coat to stand it, they don't mind this cold at all. So, again, it's uh, what these guys were bred for. Gergen walking off with the fish. jug away behind her because it'll make for better pictures. The big elk antler on the ground laying there next to her. These guys get a lot of horns and stuff like that to chew on. Now this fish is frozen. They get it both frozen and thawed. Ergen actually prefers it frozen, even in cold weather. It's good for cleaning their teeth. When you feed it to them frozen like this, it really scrubs and keeps their teeth clean. Kurgan is about to turn uh, uh, five years old here. And look at those teeth on a five-year-old dog. And again, those are some pretty beautiful teeth. I've never brushed his teeth ever in his life. That's all from eating raw food. And again, like when you feed fish like this frozen, it really scrubs their teeth as they chew through it and they like it. Besides being uh, predators, uh, canines are also uh, scavengers of opportunity. In cold climates like this, uh, canines often find and uh, scavenge and feed off of frozen carcasses. So, I mean, there is a biological reason for it. And for those who will say, well, canines don't eat fish in the wild. Well, well yes, they do. All you have to do is uh, do a search on YouTube of uh, wolves eating fish or wolves catching fish, wolves that live uh, in British Columbia along the uh, coast. Uh, that's, that's their main diet. I watched a pretty good special on that uh, not too long ago. Dingoes also will eat, uh, eat fish, those that live along the coast. Basically, dogs will eat and thrive off of just about anything they come across. They're pretty, canines are pretty, pretty hardy creatures. Like people, they can uh, get by on a variety of food sources. For those who will ask about bones, you don't have to worry about bones if, as long as the fish, chicken, or whatever you're feeding the dogs is raw. It's cooked bones that are dangerous. Cooking the bone uh, changes the consistency of the bone. It makes it indigestible and prone to both uh, obstructions and perforations of the bowel. You won't have that issue with uh, raw bones, but you do want to make sure that they are adequately chewing the bones up properly before swallowing them as chewing is the first stage of digestion. If they aren't chewing the food up and gulping it down, if they're swallowing large pieces of bone, they will throw it back up. One of the problems, uh, dogs that have been fed a kibble diet uh, most of their lives have if switched over to raw is they haven't properly learned to chew their food. and. Uh, as a result, they tend to inhale and gulp down just about everything they eat. And so you have to teach the dog how to chew again. You know, one of the ways you can do that is by, uh, if you have a larger dog, an adult dog, you know, feeding them large whole pieces that they can't gulp down in a couple of bites. Uh, you know, chicken leg quarters are great for, for that. If that doesn't help, you can freeze it like you see this here and uh, freezing the food will force them to have to chew it up better. That's not why this is frozen for them, but freezing the food and feeding it to them will have that effect. Again, uh, Ruka, Honey Badger, and uh, Kratos all just turned uh, five months old. 
uh, two days ago on the 17th. Kurgan coming up here on the 26th will be five years old. Hard to believe he's on the channel that long. I have uh, his whole development uh, documented on the channel from about seven weeks old uh, up to the present. Lobo uh, this May will be uh, seven years old. And uh, K-Bar this summer will be two. If you want to learn more about how to feed a raw diet, I have plenty of links in the video description. The BARF diet, which is the uh, raw protocol I tend to use, uh, though not, not very strictly, uh, I, I kind of do my own thing as well. But the BARF protocol, BARF is an acronym for Biologically Raw Foods, was developed by uh, veterinarian Ian Billinghurst. He wrote some very good uh, books on the topic. I highly recommend you can find them on the Amazon. Again, just type in Ian Billinghurst or BARF diet. Some of the other raw food protocols are the prey model diet and the RMB diet, RMB being an acronym for uh, uh, bones and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, raw meaty bones. Had a brain cramp there. What's up, buddy? Kurgan, I always want to get love. But you can see these pups are getting huge. Boy, gonna be interesting to see how the uh, next few weeks play out, huh? Lots of craziness going on and lots of questions. I'll leave it at that, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Get your popcorn ready. Today's uh, National Popcorn Day, I believe. Yeah, isn't she beautiful? I really like this dog. She's got the sweetest temperament. She's just a big sweetheart. Great you go, girl. Yes. It's Kratos bitching at dad telling him, hey, don't mess with my fish, pops. Yeah, it's all canine communication. And I think Kurgan tests him sometimes as a way of training him. It's uh, very interesting to see, but uh, I really think he does do that. He really seems to like Kratos a lot too. There right, go boy. Boy. Well again, I hope you've enjoyed this. I just thought I'd show a little brief window into our day to day. Uh, just the pups eating some food together with dad. It's feeding time at the house. Again, I had uh, Lobo and K-Bar in there uh, eating together and uh, I'll be taking them out into the house here in just a second. That's all from Mr. Kurgan, the crew. Like, si uh, <laughs> like subscribe and share, hit that notification down below and uh, you'll get email notifications when our new videos come out. Check out our Teespring store. Lots of cool merch for those who will ask, what do the runes mean on the shirt? Uh, they don't mean anything. Uh, they're just the uh, Elder Futhark uh, runic alphabet, all uh, 24 Elder Futhark runes. So there's nothing hidden uh, written there or anything. It's just the Elder Futhark runes. Oh, I'll show you how we uh, have been uh, setting up more in our gym here. Here's my son working out but yeah we got a pretty kick-ass squat rack there he just purchased yeah show you some of the other stuff we got we got some parallettes all kinds of weights kettlebells we got some uh, maces there there's the tire we use for uh, mace smashes got some uh, farmer carry handles here 
These are kennels that I use uh, if I feed the dogs inside individually. I put them each in the kennels. It's uh, pretty nice because it allows me to uh, disinfect them very easy and it allows me to separate the dogs if I want to control how much they're getting. That massive beast there is a big freezer I just recently bought. Goes down to minus six degrees. Here's another chest freezer that uh, we use for the dogs. So usually when I have deer carcasses, uh, they sit in there for several weeks. That's deadlift bar, got some uh, big logs. Is that a 12 inch max, the big one, the black one? Yeah, the big one's 12, the little one's eight. Little one's eight? Yeah. yeah that's an eight inch log there. Oh yeah, people often wonder, uh, how we stay in shape. Uh, I have exercised uh, pretty much my whole life, done various martial arts, uh, was an infantry paratrooper. Uh, I've just always been active. There's no secret. You just uh, got to stick with it, right? Yep. I've been making him work out since he was a kid. I used to get him up every morning before school and uh, make him do calisthenics and that. Uh, he hated it at first, but I think it paid off. I think so. <laughs> Bye. Oh, these are some pretty cool wind chimes I made out of bone years ago. That roar you hear is the furnace. See ya. Thanks for watching. Check out our merch store down below. Yeah!